It's no. Don't do this to me. Okay, here's the deal. At 87, a dream was set into motion. For years, they've been in millions of your living rooms. No couple has traveled the globe to bring you the adventures they do sport. Nah, it's a way of life. North America's favorite hunting couple are the real deal. They live at full draw. Close encounters is what they do. It's not about glory, hype, or fame. It's about bows and arrows, baby. Draw, anchor, aim, release. Bucks, bears, bulls, birds, tree stands, ground blocks. Line, spot and stock. Now that's what we're talking about. Real hunting, real people, real adventure. We are the Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, we're heading down to Colorado. That's right. One of our, our favorite places to go hunting. And we hunt whitetails and mule deer down there. And we had a really great trip this year. Well, some of us did. I had a really great trip this year. It's getting dark. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna snow. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Hey, this week's Lucky Logo. Stimulus is, package. Lucky Logo is Hoyt. Get them where it Hoyts. Nice, but I have to tell you a little secret though, is that there is no, you cannot count the Hoyt that's on our bows as no, we're shooting. No, that's cheating. That's cheating. That will not win a new Hoyt bow. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Can you now, believe a new Hoyt bow? Ouch, how cool is it? Sorry. Is it an Alpha Max? It's an Alpha Max, baby. Oh, baby. Okay, listen. Ralphie Max. We've got lots of, uh, Ralphie Max? Ralphie Max. Okay, we've got lots of great footage, though. Oh. And let's go, we got a, a really cool white tail encounter. Big buck, nice coming in, and I think we'll see you what happens. that one, too. I yeah. didn't wreck that I one, too. Did. I did yes, not. That time of year, if that buck gets on a hot doe, you, there's nothing you can do. No, but I think we should just stay on top of my truck. He was right there, never came closer. Now he's looking this way.
so close. That, you know what, that's why we love going out to Colorado, though. It's just all the encounters. Well, you never know what's going to happen. You could have a big mule deer, you could have a big white-tailed deer, and you, you just, just never, never know. know. So don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we've got more mule deer and white-tails to come. Yep. Well, let's shoot. OK, it's my turn first. No, it's mine. No, it's my turn. Let's... What took you so long? Oh. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. <sighs> now, let's join you in a ground blind. Join me. Join you I'm again. Hunting. You're filming. Again. It's how it should be. And we be. see some kind of a mule deer. Oh. Oh. It's some kind of a mule deer. What a buck this is. Yeah. What we're doing right now is we're putting a few more hay bales around our choice blind. So before these deer start to move, we're going to try to figure this out. We got our Ozonics, our scent lock, our HS sent away. Now hay bales, we are getting covered up. We are trying, hopefully, not to wreck this situation. A lot of the mule deer have been coming, and the white tails have been coming out to the further west. They come out and they mill around in this, this green field. Winter wheat, but it didn't take off real well. So we're going to sit here and see what happens. Keep your fingers crossed. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's tip is pretty simple. It is time to get rid of that old string and the cables. But just think, we're out in the field. All of a sudden, we get excited. We grab another broadhead. We do, we nick the string or we cut the cable somehow. And it's like, oh my goodness, what do we do? Well, proper planning prevents poor performance. <laughs> What you wanted to do prior to that is get, get yourself a new string, new cables. After this is all ready to go, put your new ones on. But before you do so, measure your kisser, measure your peep, measure, measure your brace height. Make sure you know the poundage, write all that down, put it on a piece of tape, and apply it to the bottom of your limb. Now you have everything set. So when you do put the new string, the new cables on, and everything is adjusted correctly, guess what? You are on target way faster, and you ain't losing no hunting time. That is your Bowhunting World Tip of the Week. breaking my fall. Thank you. Hey, when we come back, we're gonna have some great more footage. Yeah. Yeah. 
The buck bedded. It, you didn't have to make me bed, too, you know. I just wanted to make sure, but you know what? You got my real tree sweatshirt dirty? Sorry. Don't go anywhere. We're right back! <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back. back. Well, now it's my turn, finally. You've yeah, been yeah. on the first two segments, for crying out loud. It's okay. my turn. Okay. Now I have to, ow, I have to thank you though, because we went out and we saw that mule deer out in that field. We actually we patterned went, them just like you would a white-tailed deer. Right, and they're in the river bottoms, which is a little bit different than what it normally is in Colorado. Normally, they're up in the sage flats. Well, this time, Ralph, we decided to hang a tree stand where yep. we were seeing the mule deer coming out right next to the river there. They were, they were hugging that river right on the tamaracks and they were coming up right where actually Billy had cut a trail, you know, to just for the cattle. For the cattle, right. So, so we set up a tree stand and now see what happens. Well, we tried to get in the sand before the deer showed up. Well, little did we know that they were gonna bed here today. There was four or five different does bedded. We only spotted one. We didn't spook them. We got up, which is unbelievable. For wild muleys, my gosh. We don't, we haven't seen the buck yet. They all kept looking over to the west in the tamarack, so maybe, maybe he's still in the tamaracks. I don't think it does. Hey, honey. Yeah. Thanks. You go, girl. Thanks for sticking it out with me. <sighs> That's the second time we have ever shot. He's down. He's right there. He was so hot on that doe, he didn't know what hit him. He was standing over here in my arrow. Oh, it's a good looking arrow. He wasn't going to go much further on that at <laughs> all. Oh, Lord, thank you. Oh my gosh. This is my first, my first deer with my Alpha Max too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know he's not the biggest mule deer we've been seeing, but he's a pretty oh. darn nice one. <laughs> Let's go get your mule deer. <laughs> Hellraiser's baby. <laughs> He's beautiful. Put my arrow down. Alpha Max, baby. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful buck. Look at him, he's a five-by. Yeah, look at how big he was. He didn't want anything to do, but he wanted that girl. That was it. He didn't care what I was there. I can't say enough. How about that one, Hey, huh? that was cool, huh? It was cool. I mean, to, for us to actually get up in the tree with those does bedded there. They were all bedded there. And for and him just to like... come out and give me that shot, that <sighs> was really cool. Yep, we made it happen. I'm proud of you. Yeah, now, I don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, it's another segment about Ralph. Yeah, it's getting dark. Is it getting dark? Yep. Okay, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> what are you? Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, let's get into Ralph's hunt, shall we? 
So this is how it looks with these dark glasses on, huh? Vin? Why do you have dark glasses on? I'm trying to see what you saw. I saw a deer, is yeah. what I saw. You must be living in a fog 24 seven. Just roll the footage, jeez. Well, we're back into our mule deer choice blind setup. We know there's a few shooter mule deer coming out here, a few shooter white tails. Be patient, the wind's in our favor, everything's ready to go. We were sitting next to some hay bales, we put the choice blind and we wrapped it with some hay bales. We sprayed down, we got our scent lock, we are ready to rock and roll. We'll turn the Ozonics on and we'll just wait. To have a magnificent animal like that, what an honor to see him. And so frustrating, because you know you're so close, but well, yet so far away. We waited for that buck to come out. Lo and behold, he has a hot doe. That doe just ran him all around the field, and now they went back in the dam racks. It was still an honor to see that deer. That's a great See, it was a little too dark, and I'm sorry. Sorry? I'm sorry, but you know Take we tell- Take the glasses off. <laughs> I'm sorry, but in the office, we say that if you're filming and it's on 18 gain, okay. it's too dark was for TV. So I called him off. I called bigger. him off because it was too dark on the camera. That is it. It's over, it's over, it's done with. Bop, 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 bop. Anyways, if you happen to see the lucky logo this week, which was Hoyt, log on to archerschoice.com, press the lucky logo button, <laughs> and fill out some information. Someone's gonna win a Hoyt bow. Thank you, Billy and Gala, and everyone out there in Colorado. Thank you, darling, for filming me shooting on a beautiful mule deer buck. We'll see you next week, same time, same channel, right here on The Archer's Choice. It wasn't dark! <laughs> it wasn't too dark! It wasn't too dark! It wasn't too dark! <laughs>